Hey everybody and welcome to the first of what will hopefully be a weekly edition of This Cat Can Ball here on the CSN Network, the show where we give props to a player that no one expected to show up, but he did, and in grand style. Now as you might expect, we're not going to be featuring the likes of Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, or Dalvin Cook. I mean, these guys are animals, they put up monster numbers week in, week out, so there's no real need to highlight them. And likewise, we're not going to be featuring players who may be in a slump or past their prime and just happen to pull out a decent game because it's more likely established that they can, in fact, ball. Being that this award is in honor of when Charlie Murphy and his crew assembled to take on Prince and the Revolution. Uh, let's not forget about the lesson learned that day. What was that again, Charlie? You never judge a book by its cover. And with that, let's get down to brass tacks. For week 10, we narrowed it down to two possible contenders uh, for the award this week. And we're going to talk a little bit about each and gauge where they stand. Kind of like a little barometer for each case. A barometer. What is a barometer exactly? It's pronounced thermometer. They each played in the second window of the Sunday's games, which is the 3 p.m. slot if you're in Central Time Zone. And uh, the player we chose for second was the Miami Dolphins running back, Salvin Ahmed. And he had a pretty strong case to prove that he could ball. He, he had some odds stacked against him. First off, he was an undrafted rookie out of Washington. And he had only been in the starting lineup for a month before being called up from the practice squad. And on top of that, he ran a gentleman's 462 in the 40. So, you know, he's not exactly a burner. There's a reason why the Raiders didn't pick up on him. Nevertheless, he put up a really good showing for his efforts. 85 yards on 21 carries. He also scored a touchdown and added one catch for 5 yards to boot. Which is pretty amazing considering that he was only rostered by 5% of Yahoo Fantasy users. That's, um, you know, they didn't really have faith in him. But, you know, if you did have him, and let's be honest, you probably accidentally picked him up, and he probably put up some pretty good points for you. Now, let's talk about some drawbacks, because obviously he didn't win, right? Drawbacks, he got 21 carries out of the 26 that Miami running backs had that game, so he clearly got the lion's share, or dolphin's share, I guess. So it's not like he had limited opportunities to tote the rock. And second, Miami had a lead the entire game, even a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter, so, you know, it's not like he was counted on to grind down the clock. So this is why our winner this week is Tyler Bass, the Buffalo Bills rookie kicker out of Georgia Southern. 5'10", 183 sexy pounds, most of it in his right leg. Clearly, the wings aren't the only thing with a kick in Buffalo, and that ice water up there is running through his veins. Now let's talk a bit about why it's hard to show that you can ball as a kicker. It's one of the most, I won't say the most, but it's one of the most polarizing positions in all sports. I think, you know, you blow it and you're shunned till the day you die. You know, think about like Gary Anderson 1999 and Scott Norwood. Yeah. And on the other side of the coin, if you make it, it's usually just like, yeah, pal, it's your job. That's what you gotta do. I mean, Adam Sandler wrote a whole song about the plight of being an NFL kicker. Uh, but with this in mind, let's talk about why he might not have been too far off the radar. I mean, he actually was drafted. I mean, that doesn't happen too often for kickers. I mean, there are lists ad nauseum about the best undrafted players. You know, they're erecting statues for these guys, naming spaceships, moons after like Kurt Warner and the, the Warren moon. Uh, so Bass might have been quite a catch. Uh, and his game was indoors, optimal conditions. Um, uh, it's interesting, a famous a slugger was once asked about the wind. They asked, do you prefer the wind with you so it'll carry the ball, or do you like the wind against you so it'll lift it? And he said he actually prefers the ball going with no wind. So there's that. Enough about that. Let's talk about why Tyler Bass proved to the world that he could ball. He came into the week only rostered by 30% of Yahoo Fantasy users. There are probably a lot of his relatives and best friends. Uh, word around the campfire was that Tyler Bass can't ball, and he's basically got no skills. He went 3 for 3 on extra points, which is good, good. But here's where it starts to get really good, and this shit's going to stack like Jenga. He made all three of his field goal attempts all within one quarter, and all three of them were from over 50 yards out. In succession, he made 54 yards, 55 yards, and the cherry on t uh, not even a cherry, a fucking watermelon on top. The 58 yarder was hit as time expired going into halftime. I mean, that's how you cap a half, man. 
That kick sealed the deal for Mr. Bass and sealed this award for him. Now that obviously shows that the coach had faith in him, right? But Tyler Bass proved to the naysayers and to everyone that he in fact... Hit me, Charlie. This cat can ball, man. And that concludes another segment of This Cat Can't Ball here on the CSN Network. I hope you enjoyed being a part of it. If you felt that there was a cat who did ball harder or just wanted to share some words, please comment below. Or if you'd like to see any other football-related nonsense, it's one of my specialties. If you did like it, be sure to show a little love by clicking the thumbs up and to stay current on the weekly award. Yes, I know it's barely starting in week 10, but that's just how it goes. If you'd like to stay current, please consider subscribing where hopefully as soon as it's produced, more new content will be added to this page. In the meantime, this is Omar Garcia. Hope you're all having a great morning, day, evening, and I will see you next time.